Nintendo, you had done yourself again. Splatoon was an addictive, quirky, fun game, and arguably was one of the Nintendo's best offerings of the last decade. So much that it actually managed to get a sequel, Splatoon 2. And it, that is even more quirky and fun. And let me tell you, that is the stepping ground for me in terms of interest in Splatoon, because I am so addicted to it. Yeah, no, really. It's the most fun I have had in, in any shooter or video game forever. But I can see why people can argue that this is just Splatoon and a better console. Yeah, that's right, f*** you with you. Every game has its flaws and issues, and Splatoon 2 is no exception. So if there's going to be a Splatoon 3 in the foreseeable future, it needs to be worth it. It needs to push the, the concept of Splatoon to some level where it feels worth it and not just a rehash of the, of the first game. So that's why I'm going to share my ideas and wishes for a future Splatoon 3. Starting off with... The main weapon lineup in Splatoon 2 is going to stay the same. I mean, I already peaked at that moment. However, if you do disagree with me, share your ideas in the comments. Some true bombs are going to get replaced with the hyper bombs. I know, I just can't get enough of those auto expansion references, can I? Toxic Mist is going to get replaced with the Disruptor. Don't worry, I'll still have some elements from the Toxic Mist in the weapon. I don't have that much ideas for new weapons, however, I have this idea for a sub-weapon that kind of acts as a replacement for the Seeker. So let's say we have this drone connected to a bomb. It goes to the other team and seeks for the person taking the most turf and then explodes, kind of similar to the blue shell from Mario Kart. This would go in handy in Rainmaker or Tower Control. But mostly. Every Splatoon veteran is yearning for the revival of classic special weapons. You see, the sub special weapons from Splatoon were removed in Splatoon 2 and are replaced with arguably inferior versions. What I'm looking for exactly is the return of the Ink Strike, Inzuka, Kinder Whale, and Kraken. Egg Locator is going to be an enhancement to the Locator sub weapon in which, which everyone in, in one team will find out the location to the other team, whereas the Bowler is going to act as an enhancement to the Bowler. The Ink Strike, I can kind of see why it could be a big problem to implement that using a Nintendo Switch. Seeing that in Splatoon, it had to utilize the Wii U GamePad's touchscreen features. So, how can I implement this? It's quite simple actually, just press X to manually aim the position and of the explosion. Now I can see why this is kind of frustrating seeing as the map covers the entire screen and contrasts to Splatoon 1 where it only covers the GamePad screen. The Stingray is out of the picture. It is an inferior version of the Killer Whale and needs to be removed from Splatoon 3. Speaking of, this, the Killer Whale should have this little fun nitpick feature where if you constantly press the Booyah button, it will make the wave more stronger. Making reference to the best cutscene in Splatoon 2 Auto Expression, which is so great that I made a meme out of it twice. Seeing as how the Calamari incantation is like this some sort of catalyst for lots of determination, we gotta utilize this in a special weapon or something. So get this, imagine two amplifiers standing bes behind you and while it plays the incantation, large waves of ink come out. It'd be overpowered, but it makes sense. Splatoon 3 will have five label stages online in the basis of every two hours, with the first four one being randomly picked and the fifth one being Shifty Station. Shifty Station was a Splatfest exclusive stage in Splatoon 2. And, every, and in every single Splatfest, the design of the stage changed. That is actually what I'm going to utilize here for Tomb 3. Every two hours, the design is going to change. And they're all going to be unique as well. For new stages, I'm thinking maybe an uh, industrial obstacle course, a circus, and a train station. The train station stage will also include underground sections that kind of resemble that of the underground in Britain. Also, I want a facility stage where moving platforms or conveyor belts are so help me. And of course, the majority of Splatoon 1 stages that weren't included in Splatoon 2 are going to return in Splatoon 3. Highly anticipated by fans, they were disappointed when the classic like Urchin Underpass were not included in Splatoon 2. So we gotta have something to address the fans, right? But I have two oddball ideas. What if we can fight in the Compass Plaza in Octo Valley? No, that would be insane! Not only are these stages going to give people some nostalgia bonus, but I am actually also aiming to make He's a little bit more bigger and a little bit more expansive. Just imagine bouncing around in Octo Valley. Yeah, there's no bouncy platforms in, in normal platoon stages, so I gotta make up for it. For new modes, I'm kind of thinking of eight people fighting a boss from the hero mode. 
amped up to a power level so high onto its fresh style. Not only that, but we're also gonna add a little bit of some twist to, to the bosses. Like, what if some certain armored enemies would appear time and time again as you fight? That would also add a little bit of more challenge to it. We should also have a mission mode, with missions resembling that of the Amiibo mission from Splatoon and the Auto Expansion levels. And get this! A Battle Royale mode exclusive to Rank X players! I and many artists would like to believe that Splatoon 2's Hero Mode was pretty lacking, so what do I do with Splatoon 3 Story Mode? Well, I make the levels more longer and challenging, as well as the bosses, which are gonna be as long as the fight for with DJ Octavio with Splatoon 1. Sure, that'd be frustrating, but admit it, it's gonna add a little bit more fun and challenge, and in the end, it'll be all worth it. Okay, so this is going to be the part where I list out extra ideas and rapid fire. So here we go. Mini games for Splatoon One are gonna are gonna come back, making it so I have a higher chance of having overpowered people on my team. Hint, hint. Have a mode where you have to squeeze straight into Tofu, just like the original concept for Splatoon. The graphic design in Splatoon Two is not my favorite. Change it back to the original design. Have an option to save your recordings of your fights. Make a larger hub world. Have the option to sell your weapons. And those are some of the ideas I can utilize in a future Splatoon 3. Now I know some of these ideas may uh, okay, turn out as overwhelmingly strange or borderline insane, but seeing how Splatoon 2 turns out as a disappointment to some, they might look into this video list some, and pay, pay attention to most of the features I listed and go like, wow, it feels like Nintendo has pushed with the concept of Splatoon to its core. As such, if you don't disagree with me or would like to have more ideas, please list them in the comment section. As always, thank you for watching, support the channel by subscribing and watching my other videos, and also support me on Discord, Reddit, and Nintendo Switch. Anyways, I will see you next time, bye!